Two clip on the TV, steezy. Never, never want pre me. We like giving them a freebie. We not cheap, we not easy. See me on a two two clip on the TV, steezy. Never, never want pre me. We like giving them a freebie. Yo, I stepped in looking like Carly. Energy bombing, energy, energy bombing. I stepped in looking like Carly. Energy bombing, energy, energy bombing, energy, energy bombing. Big man parking, you ain't gonna park it, you ain't gonna run a punch. 
Stars, you saw me. It was a simple feeling. You broke in my heart. I was back in your arms. I was another being. No anger, no gun for me. But happy to keep on hurting. Right from the start, I You saw me It was a simple feeling You broke in my heart I was back in your arms I was another being No anger, no gun for me But happy to keep on hurting Right from the start Already complaining.
Mm-hmm. Dingalopa, thank you for the four months. <clears throat> What's up, you guys? Oh, I meant to take that off. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, stuck today, are you? Hmm. Hmm. Animated. Came here for animated Sasha. Oh, I'm not a. I'm not an avatar. Sorry. Do do derp. Irish wristwatch. Ten though. They even thirty nine months. What should I start with? Hmm. Let me think. Should we start with the reactions? Yeah, let's start with the reactions. Or should we start with Bloodborne? Cause I'm gonna eat on stream tonight, so. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I actually start with Bloodborne. You look like you're gonna put on your vans and hit the skate park and grind some verts. What the hell is a vert? Diablo's over until the release. Yeah. Okay. Sadly. I was thinking about it a lot. Death Cab for Gabe, thinking of the 17 months. Ice Blue, thinking of the 20 months. Or maybe we just do really lazy stream. And no Bloodborne. Now that I think of it. We could do Discord stuff first. We can do Discord. And then when I eat, stuff that I don't have to like longer format reacts. That way I don't have to click around a bunch, you know? You look like you tried to do a slash cosplay and stop halfway through. All right, what do you have in Discord? Hello! Hype train. G-Man, thank you for the tier one. Tenic, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it, you guys. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sasha. I hope you had a good Mother's Day weekend. Mine was pretty good. I hope you have a great stream tonight. Scray heart, scray love. Cooks, they give you the 690. Oh, look what you started, Quad. You look like a person who goes, goes to Hot Topic to buy bands that you've never seen in Convert. You look like a mall punk. Bastards. Okay. Time flying fast. <sighs> All right, what are we at? Where are we at? Discord. Where'd I leave off? Where did we leave off? Mm. I pinned something. Did I pin something? Oh, no, nose flute. What about hummus? Who got a person to stop at Valley Fair to ask where the red so press? <laughs> oh man. What's happening on YouTube? You know who loves Discord? Disco mommy.
Canarias is the best. Ura, Uruguay, Uruguay, what does Ura mean? Like hurrah. Sick new world fest, man. All right, I found where we left off. The, because I, I posted some, I got some mate the other day. I got the Canarias one and then I got, what other one did I get? Mm. I haven't tried this one. Uh, tara, tara we. Tarawi? Taragi? Tarawi? Anyways, that one says it has citrus flavor in it, so I got two. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's see what surprises are in our Discord this week. Before I switch screens, here you go. Intranet. You have the intranet. Discord. What did I do last time? It worked good. Uh, I did this. Ah, uh, yeah, because it was getting annoying. Okay, let me rename this. Discord vertical. Okay, turn that off. Well, we're going to use that, so. Boom, boom. I still have not seen Evil Dead Rise, no. Oh no. Uh, what is this? A stork mix up. Hello, you hummus loving freak. Okay, it's bird Jesus. Okay! Only ever always Cohen. Anthracene, thank you for the 39 months. The Onyx Salmon, thank you for the 17 months. <gasps> He's finally here. Our baby. Mr. and Mrs. Oink, that's us. Okay. Got a baby for you. Thank you, thank you. What is that? It's a baby pig. That is not a baby pig. Yeah, it is. That's a baby wolf. Huh? Look. Deserved what? Hmm? Yep. Uh, yeah, no, not. I w if I if I hadn't seen that it was thirty eight seconds to start with, I would have I would have skipped. This is a guy who travels too much. Unavailable. Okay. Unavailable the to the universe in month form. That's weird. It says video. Look at this. It says video unavailable. Contains content from WMG has blocked it from displaying this website or application. Watch it on YouTube. No, I'm not going through the trouble in this moment. But this is going to make me, isn't it? Which we can plug them into the wall power plug. Okay. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. Is he pretending to get electrocuted? Three, four. Is he's not selling. 
I don't know, the hand camera. His channel is all about getting shocked. He gets electrocuted every week to a schedule. What the hell? I don't know. The camera was too was placed too perfectly on his hand. That's his bit. Very educational, though. Very educational. I agree. Uh. This video doesn't want to open, or what? What's happening? Try medieval MMA with no experience. Chow okay, I have to open it in a browser. Ugh. Why do some force me to open a browser? Try medieval MMA with no experience. Challenge accepted. Historic. And some work perfectly fine. Try medieval MMA with no experience. Challenge accepted. Historical medieval battling has different tournaments, fights, and categories, which all require different weapons and number of people involved. After watching a few battles take place at a local club, which were insane, it was my time to try on the armor. But unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to battle in the armor as it was too dangerous, but could experience some blows to the body. Just getting hit with an After axe. testing some weapons and fighting techniques, I hopped into the ring with soft armor and prepared for battle. After getting beaten up well and truly by my opponent for two rounds, I could safely say that the challenge was completed. Follow for more epic challenges. We saw nothing. We learned nothing there. Why did you do this to me? Tacos al pastor are a beloved dish across Mexico and other parts of the world, yes. and they represent a fusion of Middle Eastern and Mexican culinary styles. Tacos al pastor were invented by early Lebanese immigrants to Mexico in the 1900s. It was during this time that over 100,000 Lebanese immigrants settled in Mexico, mostly in the areas of Yucatan, Puebla, Veracruz, and Mexico City. And as immigrants do, they brought their traditions and their culture. One of them being shawarma, the technique of grilling meat upright on a spit. Mm. And the first fusion of this Middle Eastern and Mexican cooking style are tacos árabes. Through time, the recipe molded and bringing in different marinades and seasonings to eventually bring us the masterpiece mm. that is tacos al pastor today. And the dish is a testament to the rich history and cultural diversity of Mexico. Mm. Dang it. Why are you guys, why do you guys have to put good food like that? Now I want al pastor. Uh, if you haven't seen, I made al pastor tacos on my YouTube channel, if you're new here. So, there you go. There's my YouTube. Uh, Robin Williams live on Broadway. I'm going to skip that because I know I'm never going to be able to use it. How long is it? Here's my idea for a fucking... <laughs> okay, I'll watch it. It's a minute 45. Dude. Rip. Really miss Robin Williams. Obi-Wan Jabroni. Thank you for the biddies. Um, Alright, will this play? Nope. Living in twenty. Living in twenty twenty to be like. I've seen this. I've I I've seen this, and it's the squeaking shoes for me that just make it even better. I just want to pay for my table, man. I just want to pay for my shoes, man. I just got to get my toilet paper and Ritz crackers, man. I just want to get my hair cut, man. I, I just want the Uber driver to get me where I'm going, man. I, I'm just here to pick up my wife from work, man. I just want this. Uh, coffee. <laughs> I know your problem is you know the song they're playing. 
Oh, that's good. It's good. Allergies. What did I pin? Uh, oh, it was a longer video. I was skipping the like l longer format stuff last time, which I'll do again today. Maybe we'll go back to some of the longer format. Lots of food. Um... Not going to watch that right now. 12 minutes <laughs> food tour. Um, you ever wondered how to give frogs medicine? This is how. <clears throat> Why doesn't it play? Weird. Line really hates this stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm get it. Look at his little freaking tongue. Stop. It's like, this is sick. <laughs> no, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You have to get it. Nope. Dude, there's, some, there's so many cool f frogs on the internet. <laughs> looking eat it what were you really thinking what <laughs> <laughs> yes, appeals to my 12 year old sense of humor. <laughs> uh. Judge, Judge. <laughs> Jamie Foxx is one of the most talented people on the planet. His Trump impression in this clip is hilarious. Here's hoping. For his full speedy recovery. Um, one second though, pause because this is not working. My mixer's not working. That was a little loud. I could see it was a little loud for you guys. Um, but it wasn't letting me. Phineas. Game. Game. Hmm. Music. Music. Now will you work? Huh? Punk? Okay, it's working now. Good. Since I have this up, and I feel like it will appeal to you people, I'll let you watch this cat propaganda. It's only six seconds. Ah, uh, that was kind of lame. Nothing more funny that see now I'm gonna get sidetracked with TikTok clickbait, man. Nothing more funny than you f you finding out they cheated and then them crying in your face. I just want to let you know I love you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> don't give a fuck. I got Why are you doing this to me? Why, why the fuck are you doing this to me? Maddie, I fucking love you. Why are you, why are you playing with my feelings, Maddie? You want to play with my feelings? I would never hit you. I just want to fucking love on you. I just want to love on you. 
That was really creepy. That really looked like a setup for a horror movie. He was the skater boy. Ugh. Come on, play for me here. It's so much easier. All right. Free or to who can, whoever figures out why some TikToks will play in Discord and others don't. Just want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, no guesses. Working solution. <laughs> Thank you, Quad. When your client tells you that the pain of getting tattooed feels comfortable. Let's change the subject. Because <laughs> we don't have time to unpack all of that. It's not our job. <laughs> not her job either <laughs> uh. screaming goat more team goat people <laughs> lies broke broke boys manifesto billy goat versus small child Why would you Why would you allow your child to do that? Um uh, um and and put it on the internet. And and put it on the internet? Why not? Unless you're trying to get rid of it. Sasha's ancestors are looking down on her and crying over the hardships she has to go through to watch TikTok videos. Pistachios. Hey, boss, I... What you eating? Hmm? Just pistachios. Want a few? Sure, thank you. Hmm. What do you do with the ones that aren't open? <laughs> allowed to work back here. No. Demon! One meat, two veg. <laughs> I read that. This. Not veg. <laughs> Thank you for the prime. Demon! I cast you out with all the might and fury <laughs> imparted to me by the Messiah! Okay, Frank. He really was, too. That was like some catnip level intoxication, too. Embarrassing dad on TikTok. Hello! Do you remember the thing? Meow, Saya. <laughs> Surely everybody knows this. Arch Miracle, thank you for the prime. Do you were a bit of a thing, Oscar. You used to get his lipstick out and walk around the front room. I think you know what I'm saying. You know when they get fruity dogs and you can't tell <laughs> it. I couldn't understand anything he said until... You know what I'm saying? Fruity dogs. What? I, fruity dogs? Pardon? Dog's, li dog's lipstick. Amen. Cosmetics. I don't. There's yeah. doggy coats, oh. doggy cosmetics. Yeah, lipsticks. You know when they get the lipsticks out? Amen. Dog's lipsticks. What is a gay dog? Whoa, oh, hang wow. on a minute. Come on. No. Some of my best friends are gay. Yes. <laughs> Uncle oh. Tony. Oh. Uncle Gene. There is. I'll tell you later. <laughs> well, now I know. 
I know with her, it's something dirty now. Have you got a that's, pen? I'll draw it. Have you got a pen? I've got a lipstick. I'll show you. <laughs> I get on my hind legs and walk around. <laughs> I, I, I've got a lipstick. You see, the thing about her is... How does this... <laughs> How is that guy? How is he the oldest guy on this couch? On these couches? Uh, how is he the oldest guy in the room? And he doesn't know what a dog lipstick is. I have no idea what he's talking about. No. I have no you got a li anyone got a lipstick? I have no idea. Go on. One, what is he doing? No, That's what he used to do. He used to do that at middle of Quantum don't, Leap. Don't Every don't Tuesday night. Up on the floor. Quantum oh, Leap. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Have we got a makeup artist? She's crying here, she's running. Come on. If this is anything you're embarrassing me with, are gonna let me down in public. No. What? What? You must have had a dog. I need have you ever had a dog? I've never had a dog. You must, you know no. about dogs, don't you? Come no, here, let me do animals. Come here. Come here. Well, well, do I have a microphone on? Because you might get food. It's a dog's lipstick. It's, you know what I mean? Dude. Come on, it's his... <sighs> right, any yes. oh. anyway. Anyway, if the next you... story? you've got children, <laughs> man. You've got children. I want it. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, God. Before we go any further, what camera are we on? We don't want any old mucky talk. We zoom oh, in, zoom don't in. Don't look at this. Zoom in on that. <laughs> Hang on. Go <Wrong> away. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lipstick, uh. ladies and gentlemen. We had a little discussion last time we were on last year about a dog's lipstick. <laughs> Eamon didn't know what I was she on can't. about. I don't know if that might she enlighten you this lady. somehow. <laughs> I'm not a vet. Okay. Just I saying. I'm like, actually, I'm, and now I'm invested. I kind of want to know what led up to this. I, I saw your story. You had the Kabsha chocolate. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. He were a bit of a that. thing, Oscar. He used to get his lipstick out and walk right front room. I think you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the, oh, that fir those first few words, unintelligible for me. Anyways. The lipstick. Fuck me and my... Fuck me and my ass daddy. What in the world? Don't snitch on me or you end up on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quit looking for me, bitch. Don't snitch on me or you'll end you'll end up on a t-shirt. Quit looking for me. And what are you gonna call the police on? You don't see it. It's like Oz. Well, somebody's at Walmart now. Are you with him? No, I'm sitting in the chair. Relax. Did you hear all the stuff? I heard some of it, yeah. Can you stay here? Yeah, I can stay it's right here. It's been two years, Daddy. I still really, really miss you. Look, Mommy you says you're not at the store anymore and that you're six feet away. Oh, my God, kid, I'm not going to lose it. Shut your mouth, you old man. Oh, Attack your oh. system. Oh. He's hacked your system. What do I do? What do I do? No. Yeah, yeah. Let me have that. Is that yours? I need you to lay down. Say that again. Lay? I need you to lay down. For what? You're under arrest. Help me get this guy to lay down. He's dangerous. He's dangerous? Dangerous. Very dangerous. Hello! This guy... I need you to lay down. I have a strange feeling that that's worked for this guy in other situations. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, it's so Hello. fun. <laughs> you try that with Trig, it's not that easy. Magic Dude, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. HP, thank you for the 16 months. Just a little more, a little bit more olive oil. Same. There we go. Why is he whispering? He's really sincere about that tiny bit.
Oh, splash this time. This guy looks like he parties, huh? <laughs> Give us another volleyball. What? Wait, what was this laughing? Give us another volleyball. That I couldn't understand. <laughs> this man has to have olive oil every meal or he will die. Uh, I feel like that's what... I feel like my little bit of olive oil is all right. Especially when I'm doing secret sauce. All right. All right. All right. This dessert. Oh, maybe I should watch this for later. I clicked on that. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. The funniest water bottle dodge trend. What? What is this madness? <laughs> Boom. Uh, I thought it was going to hit him on the swing back. Oh, uh, I was sure of it. Bud Light versus Soda Stream, is it a good idea? I don't know. This does not look like something I want to click on. It is time for another carbonation experiment in center of Bud Light. It's big glass full of no i love dark humor i love finding a way to make crazy difficult things funny so this tiktok has put me to tears one thing about me is oh god this trend i don't know this is this is an entire two minutes i don't know i thought this trend was dead i don't know if i'll last a whole two minutes chat is that when i was Buffering. Please play. Everything is twenty dollars at, at at stadium shows at sports events. It's like the default price for everything now. No, I think Discord has a hard time playing links sometimes. This happened last time we we're doing reacts. So I'm just going to open it in a browser because we can do that. Hello! Me is that when I was yesterday. R N W. Thank you for the prime. One thing about me is that when I was yesterday, my aunt invited everyone for Thanksgiving dinner. We said, okay, aunt. Let's get on a plane and fly across the country to eat at your house. We spent the night. The very next morning, my aunt makes the bold creative decision on Thanksgiving morning with all of our family there to do this thing called dying. What she died on Thanksgiving morning, we had a body on our hands and then like everyone was grieving it was kind of uncomfortable but you know what that's how it was we called a nurse in to confirm that she was dead the nurse said yep she's dead we said we kind of already knew that your job seems kind of bureaucratic besides the point the nurse was like you need to get 
this body out of here. We said, okay. She gave us a number to call. We called, we said, hi, we have a body. Can you pick it up? They go, hmm, it's Thanksgiving. Kind of inconsiderate to pull us away from our families on the holiday. <laughs> okay, Delete. what do we do? They said, we'll come in a bit, but we can't be quick. So we just kind of waited. <laughs> Try to figure out, should we celebrate the holiday and eat a big dinner? Well, we brought the food, so the answer was yes. We made some pies, and all the while, my aunt was in the bedroom. Stop the torture. Did how long? Experiencing how... rigor mortis. So 20 we more ate seconds. Thanksgiving dinner we invested with too much time to understanding stop now. that there was a corpse in the room next door and after dinner but before dessert we heard a knock on the door and they were like oh they guess they're here to pick up the body and they were like we're here to pick up the body we said oh cool and so they took the body and left there were more tears there were kind of tears all and that's how it ends that's how we ended it oh god my brain hurts that's awful <laughs> my brain hurts Art history. The early part is cut off, but basically she's rating whether the painter has ever seen a baby before. And that baby is fully on sitting up by itself. However. I feel a little more dead than two minutes ago. Was that guy happily jamming about somebody dying in his house? No. Uh, it was a trend where people were doing, not always, but a lot of times, sad or dark stories to that song and it was about his aunt dying in her house not his house and here we go again doesn't want to play okay yes i do however this is supposed to be the birth of Christ, and that baby is fully on sitting up by itself. Babies don't do that. It gets seven stars for the accuracy of the baby, but minus one star for the unrealistic expectations of Christ. If anyone is wondering how I'm doing, I am doing poorly, and I am doing poorly solely because of this thing. This person has never seen a baby before in their entire life. They didn't want to, they didn't really care, and when people said this doesn't look like... <laughs> okay, I give up on this one. Not my fault. It's Twitter's fault. All that Twitter money. All that Twitter blue money. Let's let her rip this morning. You got to work with Burton, Richard Burton yes. and the Tempest. Yes, I did. And now he's dead. Why are... <laughs> We've watched this. We've definitely watched this on stream. Yes. Do you know who his dad is? His dad... You watch Bonanza. I'm sure you watch the reruns of Bonanza. Who's the sheriff on Bonanza? Bing Russell. Is he still alive, Kurt? You've done some brilliant pictures. You've done some stinkers. Really? What happened to Heaven's Gate, Sam? What happened to Bosom Buddies? We were canceled. <laughs> did you see the movie Raiders of the Laws Dark? Have you seen it yet? Yes, I did. It's you a know, wonderful movie. Do you know that he turned down the role of... No, India? I didn't. I heard that you turned down the role, that you were offered the role. I wouldn't turn it down. Do you have any regrets about not going into the series for MASH? No. No? They've all made a fortune, Elliot. Then that little movie you did with him, Wild River, what was one of his few flops. He, look, he looks evil in many ways. <laughs> um, can the camera come in and take a, a close-up of his eyes? Have you ever seen eyes like this? If you look at them real closely, what do you see? Look at, look at, look. Do you see that ring around the outer edge of the eye? Wh wh what is that? I don't know. It's an <laughs> old family trait. My father had those. It's a ring around my moon. <laughs> well, this makes a most fascinating look. You really look terrific. Thank you. Are you into yoga or exercise? No, I, I exercise. Right? Uh, you might just whip one out. I might just, <laughs> I might just <laughs> whip one out. There I am. Listen, you don't know to whom you are speaking because you and I go back a few years. But you weren't a model. <laughs> what size what? are you? Is she hitting on him? Um, Tom, how do you kiss underwater without bubbles coming out of your nose and mouth? Let me ask you, how would you feel as a mother if your daughter were involved with your former love? 
personally. How, what? How would you react to something like that? You know how invaluable your voice has been to you over the years? No, baby, tell me. Perfect. Oh, God. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> can we do that? You're a new father. Can yeah. we do that? Can we? Of course we can. We can? It let's, was based let's try on it again, affection. That was on the left side. Mm, it works, yeah. it works, it works. You don't consider yourself a great actor, do you? <laughs> oh, my God. We watched that on stream, but it's a classic. Prof Noack, thank you for the six months. That dude who makes you... What? Who makes you? Okay. Thanks for the tier one. Uh, This took me out. Will it play, though? Will it play? Honestly, like, with a little bit of, like, rosemary... <gasps> Drinking the champagne of beers, that's what did it to her. No way. No way. No. No, Quad. Take that back. I forgot I was wearing spider earrings. Oh, man. A lot of requests for this one. X-Men animated series. Cannot be played. Can we open it? Um, it's making me log in, so no. Okay. Slightly rude public information film from Ireland. Shrinkflation, they're stealing your food. Fact, thank you for the 19 months. We're marine. Hello, how are you getting on? Uh-oh. Will we be able to understand this one? Hello, how are you getting on? Shrinkflation. A lot of people are worrying about it. So basically, shrinkflation is when some cunt, Mars or whoever it might be, Mars. takes a bit of your fucking bar... Puts it back in their machine and charges you the same price for it. And every company's doing it now. They might come and take a few crisps out of your bag of crisps. They might come and rob a fucking toilet roll off you. And you pay the same price. They make a gobshite out of you. And there you are, lying down, taking it. Walking home with Shaking your 11 it. rolls of toilet paper and your 31 crisps. Your fruit and nut bar only had half a hazelnut in it. I'll show you a couple examples now of what they're doing. Toberon, a very famous example. Oh, the good old days, lovely pyramids. You break one off, a fine chunk of Toberon you get. Not any fucking more. Big fucking bites gone out of it straight into the Toberon machine. On your fucking dime. Gone straight into some other bastard's Toberon. And you can't even be mad at him because he didn't get a full Toberon either. <laughs> Pringles are gone tiny as well. You have to get a pair of fucking surgical tongs to get a Pringle out of the tube <laughs> that's gone so narrow. Freddo bars. 15 grams. We don't have to those. 12 grams. 3 grams. You scabby cunts. Give me my 3 grams of Freddo that I paid for, thank you. What's the point scabby in eating cunts. 12 grams of chocolate? At this point, you're selling me a fragrance, not a fucking chocolate bar. Just keep the fuck away from my stuff with your tiny little knives or whatever you're using. Well, it's happening with everything now, so we're just going oh to God. fucking starve to death. Anyway, graph. follow me. I'm delicious. <laughs> follow me. I'm delicious. Hey, he's not wrong, though. You know, my uh, face soap shrunk the size. They shrunk the size in half. And I'm paying almost close to the same price as I was a full size. Uh, they did it with Lysol after pandemic. Shrunk the size and in increased the price, which I would be fine with smaller sizes. Definitely not a recent thing, but it, it feels <clears throat> newly refreshed because of the pandemic. I've noticed it far, far more.
Twisted Derp. Thank you for the Prime. MV, thank you for the raid with separators. Hi, dear. Can you read me? We used to write via messenger. No. No, we did not. And please do not call me pet names. Thank you. <clears throat> Pro gaming toilets. Oh, hold on. You guys can't see this. Pro gaming toilets by Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. What are we getting in? What are we getting into? Gaming is my passion. Oh, Lamborghini God. is what I crap in. I can get 20 kills in 60 seconds if I rush. My toilet takes 20 turds in 60 seconds when I flush. Yeah, it's 100% AI. But that like Lambo Regini gaming toilets. Hello! Expect the unexpected. No, I will not. I figured out why this is not working. Um, let's see if that works. One of these is not like the other. Nature is amazing. <laughs> Baseman, thank you for the prime. Is the is the mama cat gonna help the dog? Oh, wholesome content. My cat did that to my puppy when I was a kid. It was the, it was the best. I usually don't like watching copaganda, um, so my immediately. Hold your for speeding. Hey, was YouTube it? channel. I wasn't speeding. You were. How fast? Why is it, it showing the? Back on Bridgeport, you're going about seventy. No, I yeah. looked. I was doing four behind. I was in the no me. Yeah. I know. What did I say? I was gonna give you a ticket. No, you didn't. But... No, I don't want to watch it. It's gonna. I don't have the uh, I don't have the calmness in me right now to put up with hearing that voice. Uh it's the punchline for me. <clears throat> Cop, of course. Oops. <gasps> Sibling, am I right? Am I right? He did it softly, too, which was... It was like a tap. It wasn't a real punch. This guy went from 5'6 to 6 foot using limb lengthening surgery. Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. I don't Ow, so loud. And it won't play. Of course it won't play. Ouch. Ouch. 
Dude, all of this pain in rehab. Man. Just be short. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine. L look at this. Dude, ow, my legs hurt just thinking about it. Unexpected cat. Hey, what's up with your cat? Or well, Whiskers is just hungry. Now, something's off about your cat. Don't dude. be mean. I've had whiskers my whole life. He's my baby. Your whole life? How old uh, are you, whiskers? Mm, I don't know. My parents had him before I was born, so like 37? 37? Oh, come on. I know he's old, but he's young in spirit. <laughs> that, 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 that. What, what is that? See that? Did you see that? No. What are you talking what about? What is that? Haley, I think that's a person in a cat costume. You sound insane. I sound insane? Your cat is six foot three. How am I insane? Have you ever seen a lion before? He's a cat, Max. He's just a big one. I'm just gonna get him some lunch. Isn't that right? I need a whiskey boo. Who's the hungry kitty? Who's the hungry kitty? Oh, he's so cute. Jared Leto. So you figured it all out. Why are you her cat? I've been living rent free, free food, free everything. Oh, f up. Morb. Come on, whiskers. Come on, baby, man. How did they convince Jared Leto to do this short? Who? What channel is this? Unexpected cat. I think that's his best look yet. Let's see if they actually credited the channel. Um, <laughs> this is so funny, but so mean. Uh, anyways, I can't find her channel. It's really weird when people post stuff and don't credit and annoying too. Cheddar Goblin? Mmm, cheddar makes it better. Nineteen eighty. Who ate all the macaroni and cheese? <gasps> Look, Cheddar Goblin. Cheddar Goblin, did you eat all the macaroni and cheese? Nothing's better than cheddar. Cheddar Goblin. Cheddar Goblin. Cheddar Goblin. Cheddar Goblin. <gasps> yeah. This was a thing. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vomiting on kids. Cheddar Goblin by Devane has 60% more cheese than the next leading brand. Why did he? Kids and goblins agree. <laughs> Cheddar Goblin tastes the best. That's why Cheddar Goblin was Slow rated number motion. one three years in a row. And we'll haunt you in your dreams forever. Cheddar Goblin by Devane. It's Goblin good. That was from Mandy. Oh, okay. I was like, that's too dark for TV. That makes sense. People in the 80s react to new laws against drinking and driving. Oh, this should okay. be interesting. You watch Donkey. Quick 
Quamar, thank you for the two months. Uh, let me see if this is this a Still short. Any attempt to restrict drinking and driving. Yeah, it's a short. Still Hold on. Any eh. Uh, Quaymar, thank you for the two months. Uh, you guys, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick and get this ad out of the way. No ads if you said we can see free Fiat Prime. Boy. I'm Bach. Okay. People in the 80s react to new laws against drinking and driving. Still, any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least run one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You can't. You have to wear a seat belt when you're driving. And pretty soon we're gonna be calm in this country. Oh my God! Oh my God! They were doing it even then. <sighs> the Onion did a great spoof series of reality shows. This show is called Sex. That's where the point of the show is that many people have sex as possible. They make the conditions as displeasing as possible. Age restricted and only on YouTube. Uh, no. Seven, over seven minutes. We're not going to watch that one right now. Um... My mom almost got scammed by guys like this claiming that they're from Apple and there was something wrong with her Mac. Scammer watches $500 disappear after wasting 10 hours. Wait, didn't we just watch this last week? I had been on the phone with the scammer for over 10 hours and he thinks he's about to get money, but everything is about to be ruined. Ma'am, listen to me, please. Uh, listen okay, to so me, I, please, I don't know please, if you see please. it. Yeah, we did. These Instagram ones suck because I can't even go full screen. I'm going to skip. Uh. 
when the Empire Strikes Back premiered on NBC in the 80s, it came with an intro from Darth Vader. <laughs> ah! Ugh. That tape. The wee wee on tape. On television premiere on NBC. We intercept your Earth broadcast in the name of the Galactic Empire. Welcome. Through this intergalactic broadcast, your planet and thousands like it are witnessing the glorious victory of the Galactic Empire. Tonight, we will finally crush Luke Skywalker and his Rebel Alliance. This time, there will be no escape from the dark side of the Force when the Empire strikes back. That's pretty cool. Eat your aunt and my neighbor, Songify. Cursed images. No. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. Okay. I'll, I'll admit it. I'm not letting my kids die. I'm somebody that thought I could fix this. And I'm starting to think about having to eat my neighbor. I'm going to haul him up by a chain. I will eat your ass. I'll do it. You think I like Sizing up my neighbor, cut him, skin him, chop his ass up. My children aren't going hungry. I will eat your ass. I'll eat your ass. I'm literally looking at my neighbors now going, I will eat your ass. I will eat your ass. Eat your ass. Woo! My superpower is being honest. And I will eat your ass. I will eat your ass. Eat your ass. That's why I want the globals to know. I will eat your ass. I will eat your ass. I will eat your ass. I've extrapolated this out. And I will eat your ass. How do you... How do you do that? How do you... Spend so much time doing that? It's commitment, man. <laughs> Makoto, thank you for the gift to the Mexican Viper. Druid of the Green, thank you for the Prime. <laughs> Must have some fine female neighbors. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Eight minutes? Nah, we'll save that for later. Maybe. Possibly. See how I feel. 20 must eat food at German Christmas markets. Uh, too long. Five shocking differences between American and German coffee culture. Spoiler alert, they're bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Even with their international... Oh, image. Jesus, this is 15 minutes? No way. Not right now. Americans taste German cake. Kuchen. Black forest cake. Mmm. Bein stitch cows kuchen and more. Too long. Three minutes. Too long right now for cat staying on couple's boat and staying forever. I will just want to zone out. Love this young dude soundtracking his mom's life with his trombone. <laughs> what an awkward pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no I'd kill you in game no way uh 
That's the feeling too when you have to go through <laughs> mail. <laughs> Hit him. the TikTok banner. That was a fart. Yeah, that would hurt. I would smack you if you're doing that in my ear, man. Explosive salsa. What? Oh, it's going to make your butthole explode. Oh, no. Ay, ¿cuántas veces se ha quedado la salsa con cuchara y no ha pasado eso? <laughs> how, yeah, how's it happening? Lo están embrujando. I don't know. Witchcraft. Witchcraft, she said. Or something like that. You're a witch. History of Everything podcast. Medicine and history is truly insane and truly insane. Tru tru Medicine truly insane, truly insane, tru tru truly insane. Me Medicine and history is truly insane and that goes double for birth control. Until the advent of the modern day pill, there were a variety of different ways in history that people tried to prevent pregnancy, some more effective than others and others that were definitely more harmful to the user than anything else. One technique, which was quite literally to drink a concoction made of mercury. Wow. Yes, we were talking about the liquid metal, like the kind that would be in thermometers, the very deadly substance that you don't want to ingest. You see, to the ancient Chinese, mercury was a divine substance, something that was capable of many miraculous feats, from granting immortality to doing simple things, oh, like yeah. preventing you from getting pregnant. Which, funnily enough, it would actually kind of work. Mercury could actually be used as a form of birth control because one of its side effects was potentially causing infertility. It would also have a side effect of causing organ failure and death. But find out more on my podcast, Makes sense. The History of Everything. You can't get pregnant if you're dead. That's right. <laughs> Insurance companies hate this simple trick. Why? Why would you? That's an expert right there. 
Oh, this is an odd thumbnail, isn't it? This is a definite, this is definitely an odd thumbnail. Click on. Oh, an OF as well. Wonder what that could stand for. Shake things better on then it shakes it and get it big child. Guess that hurt. Don't quite know. Cannot confirm. Knee girl. Meat crotch girl. Dragon trouble. I heard you folks are having a bit of dragon trouble. I don't know if I'm gonna last the whole minute and 30 seconds of this. I heard you folks are having a bit of dragon trouble. Oh, yes. Or should I say we're having? Really? You rescued our dragon? What? She is the most beloved member of our village. The... the dragon? The giant dragon in the cave at the top of the mountain? She has the kindest soul, but she hasn't left her cave for weeks. You think she... <sighs> nope. Can't do it. Sorry. I need to stay calm. Baloo! That was it? That was the... that was the video? Deleted. Where is there actually volume or what? Not talking. This commercial, and I'm in it. Freaking pop ups blocking the volume. Fulbright. The people who run my campaign, they've made this commercial, and I'm in it. This campaign, it's not about me. It's about crafting a version of me that'll appeal to you. A version that visits random work sites with paid actors pointing at things. A version of me that doesn't find old people <laughs> loathsome or pointless has a conventionally attractive, yet curiously still, family. Listening to my constituents, legislating, these are things I don't do. What I do is spend about 70% of my time raising funds for re-election. I'd do anything to stay in office. My name's Gil Fulbright, but hell, I'll change my name to Phil Goldbright, or Bill Fulbright, or fill up my mouth with farts. These are the he things that are said. important to me. And these are the fine people that finance he my just campaign. Said. Now, in order to do these things, I have to stay in office. And to stay in office, I have to keep these guys happy. Now, if any of these things make these guys unhappy, well, my hands are tied. So come November, the choice is... He just said fill up his mouth with farts. <laughs> Dumpster owl. Thank you for the tier one. Clear. Do you want another spineless mouthpiece for special interest in lobbyists? Or a spineless mouthpiece for special interest in lobbyists. I'm Philip a mouth with farts, and I approve this message. Philip his mouth with farts, chat. Got it? I'm Italian! I'm Italian! What did that guy do? Italians don't eat pizza, pineapple on their pizza. I'm gonna get some pineapple for my pizza. I'll call Nona right now. I swear, you, I swear. I you're gonna swear. call Nona on me. Oh, uh, where's your phone? <laughs> where's your phone? Shark Rams kayak off Hawaii coast. No, thank you. Ah! Ah! Tiger sharks! Tiger shark ran me. Oh man. No way. Ah! Oh, look at how fast it came Tiger too. Sharks! Tiger shark ran me. This is going to play a third time. It sure is. So we can really. Ah! 
No way, man. Tiger Shark! Tiger Shark ran me. Yo, you want some pineapple for your pizza? I'm Oops. Misclick. Uh, I think that's where we le leave off. That's all that's been checked. Yeah. That's all that's been checked so far. So the rest, not clicking on. Um, the Rizzler. Emily shows her viewers her raw chicken, but... Okay, I'll click on this one because I feel like that'll be safe enough. Not working? Not working. Emily shows her viewers raw chicken, but she claims it's cooked. Decide for yourself. Gross. Okay. Too hard. It, there's, it's a good amount of sauce. Cause you see, like the the chicken is like pretty soft, pretty nice and chewy, and nope. This is great. I'm so confused. Rival bot. Raw. No, no, and no. I went to a dinner with the girl once who was like, yeah, I like my chicken a little medium rare. And I said, are you okay? Hello! Count Ashley, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. No way. No way. The one above Rizzler? No, that was all. That was it. Or you mean uh, Rizzler? I said Rizzler. Uh, what quad? The one above? No, we watched that one. We watched the uh, shark. The Rizzler. <laughs> Her name is Sally Manila. Salmonella. Get it, chat? Ha ha ha. Maybe she planned on barfing it up anyways. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Quad. Got you. Okay, we can watch this one. Uh I know. Por fin. Bueno, por fin te conocemos. Sí, tenía mucha ganas de venir. Me contó Laura que estás con la guitarrita todo el día. ¿Es así? Sí, sí, tocó tango. ¿Tango? ¿Y canta, abuela? Yo bailo. En realidad es tango fusión. Ah, pues ya es. Con rock. <risa> Con rock. Sí, sí. Está bastante bueno. Tratamos de hacer no. que un poco más a todo el mundo. No. Hmm. Creo que por fin alguien superó el resuelto de mi abuela. Lo hice yo, ¿eh? Te felicito. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Y aparte de todo esto que contás, ¿tenés alguna inquietud útil? Estudia medicina, como vos, pa. ¿En qué especialidad? Neurocirujano. They just all grow braids. Qué maravilla. The wink. All right, that's all we got. Uh, I have, I have some other subreddits we can go through, though, chat. Um, let me hide this real quick and open. Let me see how I want to sort this. Hold on. Yeah, let's do this one and then oh, I'm logged into Reddit. Hold on. On your mind all day. Thank you for the 13 months. 
this one? Ah. Uh. Oh, they're all... Why did I say this? Hmm, this could be good, but maybe for later. I don't know. I feel like that's later. Later content. Um... And then Maybe this one. Why did I discover your stream at midnight when I have to be up in four hours? Ooh, ouch. Uh, unexpected. Is this one any good? I don't know this one. Let me see. Nah, maybe this one. Okay, we're going to check out... Actually, I need to order some food. Mm. Ow. The poot has left his phone charger on the other side of the room, but Ow. I'm too comfy to move. Dusty poo out here with the hundo. Oh, man. Ten for that hundo, Dusty Poo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, my God. Always when you least expect it. Longfellow, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. All right. Um... <laughs> Let me see something real quick. Uh... Did you know the Tide Pod Challenge caused eight deaths? I did not know, but I would actually expect it to have caused more than that. Um, I'm going to call real quick and see if they'll, if to see if I can avoid using an app. Um, and if not, I'll be right back. I mean, I'll be right back either way. One second.
says. All right, I'm back. We'll, um, let's see if we can get anything good out of this chat. Let's see. Wolfo John, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Squish, pe squish, speezy. Thank you for the prime. Okay. Thank you. I got the peanuts. All right. Gorb check. Thank you for the seven months. Notice a lot. Okay. This is a casual UK subreddit. Noticed a lot of Americans on here recently, so I thought I'd drop this to spook them. Roundabouts? <laughs> Spooking the Americans with roundabouts. No, roundabouts do not suck. Roundabouts should be the way. They really should. So, so much less time so much time not wasted with roundabouts too much too efficient exactly much too efficient there's a roundabout in LA that also has stop signs and I wanted I wanted to rage like what's the freaking point because nobody knows how to use them here so they still had to include the effing stop sign I couldn't believe it Let me clean this up. Yes. Better? Better. Much better. I heard you like roundabouts, so we put some roundabouts in your roundabouts so you can round about what you round about. Uh, hold on one second. Let me check something. Heading back to the movies, U.S. versus U.K. And of course you do that to me. Heading back to the movies, U.S. versus U.K. America, for the first time since COVID, will this expand? Doesn't matter now. For the first time since COVID, last night I saw a movie. I sat in a movie theater. When the lights dimmed, some guy shouted, Hell yeah, back in the movies. And everyone clapped. And I cried on my damn mask. Watching movies at home suddenly felt like traveling by looking at Instagram. Went back to the cinema to see Cruella. There was an emotional current among the audience after the, after the last year. At the end of the film, someone started a round of applause. And I'm pleased to say no one joined in. But someone shouted, fuck off, instead. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. Cliff diving pool, what?
Our lecturer is showing us a clip of himself on BBC News explaining the topic instead of just explaining the topic. I've never been flexed on so hard in my life. Look at that. He's like, heh. Oh, you don't see my mouth. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I got him good, didn't I? You still don't see my mouse. This is weird. Why is it not registering my mouse? Anyway, there it is. <laughs> He's like, easiest day ever. Why do I even bother showing up? Ask me a question and edit your question to make me look like a dick. <laughs> Let's see if this is any good. I'm going to skip that just uh, to be safe, TOS. First day back to school, took a toll on this little girl. I remember this meme. I totally remember this meme. An Egyptian woman is unimpressed by Stonehenge. Randomly on this subject, my Egyptian wife had never heard of Stonehenge when I mentioned it recently, so I showed her photos of it, assuming she'd recognize the look, but not the name, etc., and she was just like, this is pathetic. Your ancestors were small and weak. The obese pancake. So I'm not getting a vaccine next week. Was feeling weird about why I'd been selected ahead of others. So I rang the GP to check. Turns out they have my height as 6.2 centimeters rather than 6 foot 2, giving me a BMI of 28,000. Dang. Received from my landlady this morning. They are all bad. Hi, hun. Just watching the news saying landlords putting up rent. Just want to put your mind at rest. I will not be putting up your rent. Everyone is struggling at the moment, and it's morally wrong to put more stress on young families. Wow. She's a keeper. Where's the pride flag? Fuck knows. Just whack out the twister mat. <laughs> I love it. Shout out to Tony having his birthday at Legoland Windsor. <laughs> Tony, age 36. How does his name get included? I feel like that's got to be a typo. Or Tony just knows how to party. As an American living in Britain, this is both embarrassing and hilarious. See this person? He's turning right on a red light. <laughs> That's America's only contribution <laughs> to Western civilization. Okay. Ola Sashida, kissing face. <laughs> Alright, I like that one. Ivan, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. T 
kill Marcus. <laughs> On a conference call, my 14-year-old daughter presented me with this note to avoid disturbing me. I'm going to the shops to buy m my milk because I don't like the oat one and other stuff. Okay, but will they still accept the money with the queen's face on? Yes, no, just point to one. <laughs> to avoid disturbing me. And then she just died laughing on the conference call. Photo I took a Gatwick this morning. How'd you do that? How'd you manage? Must be near traffic control. A million pound idea. I made a device that checks the council website and lights up to show you what color bin to put out. I call it the Bindicator. No way. No way. I have a sick dog, so I ordered 70 pounds worth of groceries from Morrison's via Deliveroo. Morrison's accepted the order, but canceled almost every item. I paid five pounds delivery, five pound tip, and I got an onion. They refused to cancel. Behold, the world's most expensive onion. I would rage. The man sitting in front of me on the train is using a Twix as a pillow. And he figured out life right there. He figured out life. He's getting in a good nap, you know. He's going to wake up from that nap feeling a little groggy. And he's going to say, I could sure use a pick-me-up. Let me just have some of this sugar and I'll get my day started. Good move. Good move. Here, take my pillow. You deserve it. <laughs> Preparing the golden balls of disappointment for Halloween. Oh, that's just pure evil. How could you do that to innocent children? Raw Brussels sprouts. Oh, that is so messed up. And you know what's even more messed up is if that kid has parents who hide them candy and don't let them eat all their candy at once, that Brussels sprout is going to go rotten and ruin all the other candy. Evil. Just evil. Oh, it's even worse than I thought! Oh, God, look at that! That is rude. What is the orange? A, a bit of shredded carrot in there or what? That's disgusting. A very British response. Cheers, John. If you ever need to wallpaper this room again, it will take eight rolls of wallpaper. I bought just six rolls at 17 pounds per roll. May 12th, 1997. I bet you it was December, though, if these are British people. December 5th, 1997. Didn't have enough. It really pissed me off. John. <laughs> yep, December 21st, 1997. <laughs> oh. oh, man. What a, what a considerate human. Paying it forward. Gotta love it. Yes. Uh, in most parts of the world, they put the date before the month. America, I, I actually don't know any other country that does it the way we do it. I'm sure there's one or two oddballs out there, but most countries, when they date things in this format, it's Day, month, year. Once again, we're the weird ones. <laughs> Cracking little builder.
We have just had our patio done, and my six-year-old has loved going out and helping the builder. So it made his day to receive this. What an example of kindness. Pay packet. Harry for passing bricks, passing little pavers, pointing brickwork, mixing cement, loading stone, taking pictures of blackbirds and spider, <laughs> saying why more times than I have ever heard anyone say why, and being a smashing little guy. Minus tax and national insurance, 10 pounds. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Snoogs, thank you for the 22 months. That was in 2018. Wow. And he's still got a career. Crazy, right? Oh, that's so weird. So, oh, that's kind of disappointing. So I called this place to order because, you know, when you can, it's better to like order delivery directly from a place than use an app. But they use an app anyways. That's crazy. And one I don't like using that I've always had issues with. We love our fellow Brits. We love our fellow Brits, really. Honest. Brits talking about other Brits that live in an almost identical county that is a 28-minute drive away. Savages. Savages. Barely even human. <laughs> a 28-minute drive away. <laughs> uh. Can't beat it. American sports fans. Defense. Defense. British sports fans. All right, lads. I've just worked up a song to the tune of the VCs. Claire de Lune about an opposing player's drunk driving charge. I'll count us off. <laughs> oh, man. I don't believe. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no I don't believe him Pierce Morgan confirms he is not the pigeon lady in Home Alone 2 oh that's good oh that's that's just mm. <laughs> they did pigeon lady wrong though they did pi poor pigeon lady I think that lady actually had An incredibly successful career. But we mostly know her, at least as Merkins, as Pigeon Lady. Yeah, I'm not wrong about that. Check this out. Brenda Fricker is an Irish actress whose career has spanned six decades, six decades on stage and screen. She's appeared in more than 30 films and TV roles. In 1990, she became the first Irish actress to win an Academy Award, earning Best Supporting Actress for the biopic My Left Foot. You see what I'm saying? They did Pigeon Lady Dirty in that meme, man. She's an Oscar-winning actress. Just had this queuing experience in home base. Couldn't believe my fellow Brits. I'm the orange one. Let's just play it like this. So I don't have to mess around with the windows. Oops. No. It wasn't cancer. Dang, a wholesome one. A very wholesome one. Whew. I'd drink to that too.
Too true. America, you drive for four hours. You are still in the same part of the country. UK, you drive for two hours. The local accent has changed twice. Bread rolls have a new name. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's check out something else. Let's check out something else. Ad break. All right, ad break chat. Ardavan, thank you for the 28 months. See you in the morrow. Okay, uh, this is Hold My Beer subreddit. Hold my beer while I challenge this woman to a skull. He's spilling too. Whoa. She has experience, lads. Oh, the shame on his face. Thriller was playing. Hold my beer while I slide down this escalator. Nope. No. Oh. Oh, that form. That form. How? Definitely practice, chat. Definitely freaking practice. I'm playing a round of Roomba Pong. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why I don't seem smile. Hold my beer while I show... Hold my beer while I show my parents what I learned at college this semester. Hold my beer while I jump over this pool. That's a dirty pool. Okay. Well, well, well. If it isn't uncle. Righteous sir, thank you for the 30 months. While I ride to work with no handlebar. Look. Look at that, dude. He has the technique down. Instead of, like, you know, taking off a wheel so your bike doesn't get stolen while you're at work. and ha Or have an unnecessary amount of bike locks on your bike that somebody might just break open anyways. This dude said, look here, I'm going to use my balance and upper body strength and get my exercise in, and nobody will ever want to steal.
steal my bike. Jedi mind strength. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Or it was all edited in post. Hold my beer while I make this a super slide. Oh, that also looks painful. That could not have felt good, man. Hold my beer while I do the splits and down this bottle. She learned that in college, too. Maybe the slide was lubed up. Yeah, but it's not just this. It's not just the friction or lack of it, but the impact. Um, Let's do this here. Hold my beer while I somersault into the sea. Well, she just put all of us to shame. That was impressive. I was not expecting that when I saw that beer pass off. Oh, my beer shark in the tank. Get out of the water. Oh, no. Is it... What adult would... Want that drink? Why? Why? This is my worst nightmare. Hold my beer while I do the ultimate dad slide and dive. Another? What's up with this beer and sliding down things, man? much air he took man whoa whoa dude and he like he was it, oh my god <laughs> that did not look like a good landing either he was straight his body was stick straight but then when he was in air it just went into the fetal position The body hair was a natural cushion. Hold my beer while I ponder. Uh, actually, let's see what happens. Yes. Hold my beer while I ponder my physique. No way. Oh, you got me there. You got me there. There was no audio on that one. That was funny. That was good. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, 
hold my beer while I ski on the lake because skiing on snow is just too easy. Straight talk. Straight talk. Young every day. Ooh, multiple angles. Dang. Impressive. Hold my beer while I get the bill. Hold my beer while I get the bill, chat. <laughs> Never grow up, okay? Never grow up. That was genius. That was just beautiful. <laughs> I'm very tempted to do that. But where? Where do you find sticky hands these days? You know what? I, I rarely ever even see um those little machines. The quarter machines for toys. Dollar store. For sure, the Zon, but they probably make you order a thousand of them. And. <laughs> They would melt before they got to all the people. We did give them no way. Hit me up. I'm going to win a free beer real quick. Win a free drink. But you got it! That's it? How many free drinks do they give away? The kid's probably a musician, too. He's, like, counting in his head. Perfect timing. <laughs> Hold my beer while I hillbilly myself into space. Oh, wait. This video is... Not vertical. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Almost lost his hat. Hold my beer while I split wood. <laughs> oh, oh, ow. Literally. Hold my beer while I do my glass flip. <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh. 
How much was wasted, though? How much was wasted? Hold my beer while I ride my dirt bike. Oh, that's another square one? No. No. Hold my beer while I climb Enduro Hill, climb with the street bike. Uh oh. That's insane. Bambi. Uh, that guy was not even wearing a helmet. No way. That's a man's man. <laughs> Are there other places in Twitch where I can find your past streams? I have a VOD channel on YouTube. Right there. Instant legend. No. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> One. Uh, that's a woman's woman right there. Was it really the same game, though? Let me study this, because here... Here... What's the dude wearing? Nah, you can't really tell what the dude's wearing. Let's check the guy in the front. But the guy in the front's probably a season regular, so he's got like a navy baseball hat on. Let's see earrings. I feel like it's a different day, but whatever. I'm fine if we keep watching. <laughs> That's her friend zone co worker next to her. The jacket's in her lap. Hmm. You just want to rewatch it, don't you? It's right there! Wow. You're good. I was trying to compare the people around, but it's too zoomed in. But the jacket on the lap, yeah. I would say the jacket on the lap, that's enough to say, okay, it was the same day. Also, the black scrunchie on the same side. Hold my beer while we surprise her. <laughs> That's rude. Dang. Oh, man. No way. Look at the kid. Oh, it looks like I think it's a kid. Oh, man. That's hilarious. I love it. Oh, let me see something real quick. Mm -mm -mm. I'll check this later, Quad. Thank you. Um,
head. Hi Sasha. What's shaking? Shaking Sasha. That's alliteration. And ADHD. What's shaking Sasha? Okay. Meow. And to another thing of the 23 months. Shoelace thing of the two months. My food is here, chat. I think so, Eb, yeah. Um, well, we'll still stay in reactions while I eat, so let me be right back. Okay. Hi. Hey guys.
time to eat. And of course, my order was wrong. Is what it is. It is what it is. Is what it is. Let's see what we can watch, chat. Mm. Bum bum bum. No. No. I don't think we watched this one now that I'm <gasps> Yeah. Just hot. Okay. Here we go. Let's check this out. Hot ones. You ready? Sepultura, thank you for the 20 months. Bospa, thank you for the 7 months. Just hot for no it's reason. It's like using... Uh, <laughs> it's like using battery acid. <laughs> Ship the rest of the pizza to you. Deal. Snoogs out here with 20 gifted subs. What? Oh, two for those 20. Thanks. She is not fully vegan. She eats and cooks vegan, but she does eat meat. The nuggies she's eating on this episode of Hot Ones is a rollout of the Nuggets Hot Ones they sell at stores. Oh, right here. That's from Quad. And apparently she does have breathing problems. She's had breathing problems since she was a kid. I always liked her voice, but I never heard the that congestion in her before. But I guess I never watched any of her. Yeah, I never watched her interviews. I only watched her movies. And I, I guess I probably have heard her real voice now that I think of it. Because I did watch some of her um, Instagram cooking videos. I forgot. Which were fun. I love her. I really do. She really stole Black Widow. Yeah. I saw somebody saying that they want to watch Midsommar, but they wanted to rewatch Hereditary again before they did. Here's what I'll tell you. I saw Midsommar first. Hello! And I was not that impressed by it. I think she was amazing. The performances are amazing, but I kind it's kind of one of those things that I just spoiled too much of it for myself, meaning like I kind of felt everything that was going to happen ha happening before it happened. And it was okay. But I think people just hyped it up so much. It it just wasn't that exciting for me. Hereditary on the other hand, I really liked and I thought it was great. And I really liked that they didn't follow these traditional, like, s traditional sound design. Some of the sound design in the movie is just really unique. And I really liked that, too. Okay. Two years with the goat scray hype.
Anyways, very much like Don't Worry Darling. All right, so I watched Don't Worry Darling finally a few weeks ago, which I never intended on, on watching. Okay. So stoked for so for many reasons, but mostly it just didn't look like something I was going to enjoy. But I really do like her acting, and Brookie said he liked it, so I was like, all right, fine. I hated it. I'll say it. I hated it. She was phenomenal. Like, I, but I wanted, the only reason I continued is because I wanted to see her finish. But I really hated it. I wanted to turn it off so many times. She was brilliant, though. I bet you wanted to see her finish. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, was not a fan at all. Harry Styles was interesting, though. I, I liked when he got all incel. I think he played a really... I, pl I think he played incel really well. <laughs> Endless music, thank you for the 15 months. Gazagia, thank you for the two years. Yes, sir, thank you for the prime. Thanks, you guys, appreciate it. He's probably a tier one. <laughs> um... Watch. Let's watch one more of something. Let's see. Boneless bites. Ch Uh, let's switch it up. Let's do something else. Um, eat, is it eatery? Man, there was some cool stuff. I don't think I bookmarked it though. Yeah, we've done Jubilee videos before. You guys want to see a Jubilee video? We haven't reacted to Jubilee in a long time. Ooh. Six natural butts versus one secret BBL. <laughs> Five gay men versus one secret straight guy. Men rank themselves by size. I'm in a gang. I'm in a gang. I'm in a gang. Five gang members versus one fake. Ooh. Which one of those? All right, you guys are too slow, so I'm choosing for you. I'm doing the gang one. Oh, it's short, though. Maybe we could squeeze in a second one if we find... Uh... Floaty, thank you for the 10 months. <laughs> All ones. Um, what's the other one I want to watch? Uh, 
Here we go. Um... Oh, there's some good ones, man. Five British people versus one fake. Okay, five British people versus one fake. Or six natural butts versus one BBL. Dancing around with all ones isn't just for strippers and pizza delivery drivers. Uh huh. Butts clearly. Uh, because you already saw the butt one. <laughs> but I didn't. And butts win. Let's do it. My heart says one, my mind says the other. <laughs> I have a real butt. <laughs> Thanks, Rookie. All right, let's check this one. Hello, everyone. This is your... <laughs> Bring us some of the ones. She's got a great ass. <laughs> uh, uh, man. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I think the only difference for stream um, this week, I'm going to stream Thursday and not Friday this week. I believe that's what I'm going to do. I didn't update you guys on Discord, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday and Saturday. Yes, yes. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for the support. See you on stream tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye.